So let's say you're into bikes or skateboards or e-scooters and you're looking for a helmet that keeps you safe, seen and happens to be packed with tech. I've got something for you. Hi folks, today we're looking at the SF999 helmet from Basecamp. So Basecamp was founded by two product design students while they were still in college. And although things are going well now, it all began with a massive failure. The company's first product was this surfing accessory whose manufacturing ended up three millimeters askew from the original design draft. So rather than sell the incorrect size accessory and risk a 0.6% failure rate, the Basecamp founders decided to pull the product completely and absorb a loss of $150,000. Why am I sharing this? Well, I think this tells us something really important. This company cares about quality. They really care. So Basecamp now offers an expanded lineup of electrified scooters, skateboards, and safety accessories. And my first exposure to Basecamp is this smart connect helmet and in this video we're going to be unboxing it before we take it for a spin. Let's go. So when it comes to unboxing and setup this is where things get a bit interesting. There's no box. <laughs> The company made a decision not to supply the helmet in a big laminated cardboard box that you're going to throw immediately in the bin, so you get it wrapped up in reusable bubble wrap. And it comes with a nice padded bag for storage. You also get in the pack a little wallet for the remote control, a spare battery, fixings, a cable for charging, and that's pretty much all we need. First job is giving it a charge. The helmet connects via any USB-C cable and takes three and a half hours to charge from full, and that'll give you about five to six 16 hours of use depending on how you use the helmet. What that really means is go easy on the Bluetooth and you'll get about 10 hours charged, no problem at all. Pairing with a phone is really straightforward. You just hold down this button, it'll then activate Bluetooth mode and then you can pair it with any Bluetooth enabled smartphone and the remote itself. This basically means you can use the helmet as a Bluetooth speaker to stream music to while you're out and about, and you can even take calls while you're out on the road. Oh, and yes, there's a microphone nestled up here too, and that picks up your voice for calling or even voice controlling your phone. Pretty clever. That's pretty much it. You strap the remote control to your handlebars. This gives you turn controls and also volume, play and pause right at your fingertips. So my testing found that this catch mechanism didn't really like being on my bike, but after a bit of experimentation, I found a position that worked. So you're probably gonna expect me to go on and on about the tech in this helmet, but actually the thing I'm most impressed with is how light this is. It weighs in at just 385 grams, which is not far in front of most non-smart helmets. And honestly, you barely notice it's there. I've reviewed some other smart helmets on the channel. And let me tell you, this is seriously lightweight. Everything's well designed for ventilation and airflow. And on a hot day, you'll be as cool as a cucumber up top. And even if it does get a bit sweaty inside the dome, you can remove and wash this inner liner nice and easily. And safety wise, there's tons going on. I especially like the way the helmet wraps around your head at the back that gives you tons of protection. And although there's no MIPS, all these other qualifications that they've earned basically mean your head will be safe as houses if you're out on the road and you're unlucky enough to have an accident. Let's move on to the tech side of things. Lights first. So there are three lights that are available to use. All of them are red. Now I get that red is really eye catching, but I do think it would have been cool to differentiate the red look at me light in the center from the I'm turning left or I'm turning right blinker on either side. Maybe something we're going to see in the next edition. So even though they're quite subtle in size, they shine pretty bright. Let me tell you, if you've got lights on your bike as well, you're going to have no trouble at all being seen, even in broad daylight. Oh, and if you're worried, you might not be able to see the light and might leave them turned on after you've turned, you're going to get a reminder. Listen to this. Turn right beware. Turn right beware. Turn left beware. Turn left beware. So I never really knew I wanted a helmet that nagged me, but hey, here we are. In terms of the Bluetooth speakers, this isn't gonna be winning any awards for sound quality anytime soon, but then really who wants a big booming speaker blaring out of their head while they're cycling around? The sound quality for music is absolutely fine, but this really shines if you need to take a call when you're on your bike. The sound is really well geared up for voice, so you're gonna be able to hear whoever's calling pretty clearly, and crucially, they'll be able to hear you too. So would I be recommending this helmet? Well, yeah, if you're looking for an affordable, lightweight helmet with hidden smarts, this is gonna keep you safe and seen. And if you wanna check this out for yourself, it retails at 
$119 or £95 and I've popped the link down below. Do look out for some discounts though as I've seen as much as 25% off available. I'll make sure that link in the description gives you the best price possible for protecting your big old head. Folks as always if you've got any questions at all let me know down in the comments and if you made it this far let me know by popping the word Basecamp in there. And if this helped you out go on leave a like before you leave and if you want to see more like this maybe even a cheeky subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.